So I'm going to show you how to make some fun Asian inspired tacos. This is a fish version with a little hint of Japanese cuisine. So I have some cod, it's like a very nice mellow sweet white fish and I'm going to marinate it in a little bit of yuzu and Japanese rice vinegar. I'm going to let that marinate for about half an hour, 45 minutes or so. I'm putting some ginger with that as well as some sugar. So you just want to get the sugar and make sure it dissolves so you don't have like a clump of sugar on one piece of the fish. I love yuzu and whitefish together since the whitefish is so light and the yuzu is like really aromatic but not overpoweringly so. While we're doing that, I'm going to make some slightly pickled, if you want to say, scallions in yuzu juice. So this is just pure yuzu extract. I'm going to pour it over the scallions, just kind of mix that in there. And you can let it sit for about 15-20 minutes, it really gets all the yuzu in there. And this is kind of like a variation on pickled onions. Uh, a lot of times on tacos you see like pickled red onion, so I thought scallions and yuzu is a great combination and you let it pickle for a little bit. So after this, we'll get to cooking the fish and putting it all together with some colorful bell peppers. We've marinated the fish for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and now we're gonna finish off these Japanese tacos. So first I'm gonna sear off the fish. So and I've just heated up a saute pan. I'm gonna coat it with a little bit of oil. Again, I'm using peanut today, but you can use any neutral oil, really. You don't want to overcrowd the pan, so put too many fish fillets in one pan so that they can't move around and then they cook too long and get rubbery. So I'm going to move this to the back burner so we can uh, finish off by sautéing some bell peppers, which is great for some color in our tacos. So again, coat the bottom with a little bit of oil. We've got some nicely julienned red bell pepper. And we're just going to saute that lightly with a little bit of soy sauce. So this is a pretty flaky fish, so a lot of times it will flake, turn to pieces. It's okay, it's going into a taco, so we're going to be cutting this into smaller pieces later anyway. Alright, so our oil's ready. Let's put these peppers in here. Just a little bit of soy sauce. So this is like pretty simple. You don't want the peppers to overtake the fish in flavor. And the peppers are already naturally quite sweet, so just a little saltiness. All right, so the peppers are ready. We're waiting for our fish to finish up. Got a little nice charred action going on, which we love. And I'm also gonna warm up the tortillas as we're waiting. So in front of us, we've got some of this yuzu pickled scallion, some cilantro, a little bit of black sesame for color, and if you really like pickled ginger, pickled sushi ginger, which I personally eat a lot of by itself, uh, you can add that on as well. It's one of my favorite condiments. So let's finish up the fish. I'm gonna place one piece here. So you can see it's kind of flaking, it's nice. You want like a nice flake. As I said, you don't want to get too upset if it starts flaking because it's getting cut up into smaller pieces anyway. Tortillas are nice and warm. So I'm going to take that off. All right. So I like to start with the red pepper. Perfect. So I'm just cutting up the rest of this. It's flaking. Some of the pieces didn't flake as prettily, and that's okay. So I'm just going to put the nicer pieces on this taco, save this for later. And a little bit of the yuzu scallions. These are pretty strong, so be careful. Yuzu is a great flavor, but you could have too much of it. It is possible, I've heard. Some cilantro. and a little bit of the sesame seeds. And if you'd like, 
some of the pickled sushi ginger. You don't have to, but I think it's just such a great accompaniment. I'll just put it on the one, so we can have one with and one without. And there you have it, a Japanese-inspired taco.